everybody, this is Sean Fury, owner of Life Management Coaching Solutions. Um, in the last video, I talked briefly about what it is that we do here at the Life Management um, Training Center in Waterville, Maine. Um, and in this video, I want to just take a few more minutes to talk a little bit about um, what I mean by practical knowledge and skills um, that each of us can learn and become well adept at using um, if we put some effort in and apply ourselves to learning those things. Um, basically, some of the things that we miss out on growing up in oppressive environments, um, in oppressive households where our parents might be like super focused on controlling us because they don't know how to manage us or their own experiences otherwise. Some of the stuff that we miss out on um, includes knowing that you are and all of us as human beings are agents of change and we are agents of change simply by virtue of having been born a human being and the reason for that is because we have something very unique in on this planet um, and that is an imagination and the ability to imagine potentialities um, and then to create them using our choices um, and what I call outcome-based thinking. Um, in other words, you think of what you would like to do when you grow up and then you set out to achieve that goal by acting in ways that will bring about that outcome. Um, the reason that we have this um, skill um, of being able to construct experiences for ourselves and contribute to the experiences of others um, is be because of the way um, life works. You know, here in the universe that we live in, um, there's one fundamental law, and that is cause and effect. Um, You've heard of the domino analogy, you know, you push the domino down and it pushes a bunch of other dominoes down. Same way um, happens in the human social world, uh, you're able to create change by tapping into that law of cause and effect. I make a choice and something happens, right? Sounds pretty elementary, but you'd be surprised how many of us don't really understand our not-so-secret superpower in that regard. Um, we are always c contributing to the creation of our own experiences. Um, some might say at least 50% of the time because there's only two things really going on here. We're acting on our environment and our environment is acting on us. Um, I choose to act a certain way and the world responds, right? Um, so... Number one, it's important to understand that as a human being, you are an agent of change. And there's a couple of different ways that you can apply that change agency. Um, one of them is by either choosing consciously with intention to change things in a goal-directed fashion. In other words, I take personal responsibility for facilitating the positive changes that I would like to experience in my life. Um, conversely, if I'm someone who grew up never knowing that I had this ability um, to, you know, work towards changing things, then I might um, be unintentional. Um, in other words, I might just think things just happen. Life just happens to me. Um, it just happened, right? I just kind of receive things and uh, I'm a passive sort of recipient. I'm in the passenger seat instead of the driver's seat in my own life. And uh, obviously one way to become a lot more effective and successful in life is to move from the passenger seat over to the driver's seat. And really the only way you can do that is by developing your ability to observe and monitor what's going on in your life. 
and that's going to require some th critical thinking skills and some um, you know improvements in your own ability to pay attention and be aware um, what a lot of people talk about mindfulness right um, paying full attention to the task at hand um, the other big issue with change agents are whether or not they're constructive or destructive agents of change what kind of change are you likely to create if you are empowered to create change which you are so um, we see examples every day in the news of people using their power in negative ways in destructive ways in ways that facilitate disconnection from others uh, discon disconnection from their own thoughts and feelings and also um, in ways that create oppressive climates and therefore stifle block prevent and hinder um, other people's um, attempts to be well and flourish to reach their potential right um, so people do destructive things all the time domestic violence substance abuse um, you know treating people poorly in general and taking advantage of others abusing others um, so that you don't want to do that right and if you've been doing that now's your chance to give us a call and work on how to become a constructive change agent um, constructive change agents are what I call champions or heroes because um, in order to keep something positive going in a positive direction it takes a heroic effort to overcome the opposition that inevitably arises when a person tries to change something for the better it, you might be a first-generation college student you might be someone who's trying to be sober for the first time uh, you might be someone who just got out of an abusive relationship and you don't want to get into another one or you might be someone who was abusive and now you want to become a better person and learn how to treat people better and why that is going to be better for you in the long run well the only way you're going to be able to sustain those changes that you've already tried to create and implement is by having the knowledge and skills that it takes to keep things going in a positive direction you need to know what flourishing looks like why flourishing matters you need to know how to get flourishing how and that is how to create well-being and sustain it in your life you need to know the signs of oppression you need to be able to tell when someone is trying to keep you down or trying to um, tempt you into acting out destructively right you need to be able to set boundaries you need to be able to resolve conflict you need to be able to negotiate um, a win-win solution so all of these things will re require a great deal of effort and you're more likely to be successful when you have someone there that can help you to troubleshoot those um, problems that arise along the way during that transition process from wherever you were to wherever you're trying to go in life um, if where you're trying to go is a better life a good life your best life um, then we can definitely help you with that and um, like I said we're gonna try to move we're gonna try to help you to transform your own situation and the, the one last piece on that is that it might become a surprise to you but situations um, create your experiences right experiences are situations and um, they can be managed um, situations don't just happen they are constructed right by you and the people around you the people you spend time with and um, the way that you all are relating to one another so once you learn what to look for and what you want out of a situation then you can learn how to construct that by altering the way that you normally would respond to people and places and events right instead of acting out destructively or uh, acting unconsciously or without paying attention you can start to pay attention and you can start to act in ways that will 
lead to the outcome you want. So um, we're going to help you to do that, and uh, we'll talk more about it later. Thanks a lot.